For some, this will be a hard episode to swallow. I'm not here to tell anyone what they should or must believe. However, I would like to point out how politicians and religious institutions in democratic nations may be allowing what is known as their argument of ignorance to retard their nation's development and be surpassed by nations with governments seeking the demise of nations that allow citizens to question authority. Welcome to Four Seas, One Family. The implicit or implied separation between church and state in countries like the United States must be maintained. Otherwise, a nation's progression will be obstructed and could lead to reoccurrences of events that occurred during the Middle Ages. Every day we live on the boundary of what is known and unknown. Sometimes we subconsciously place our observations in explainable forms to ease our lack of knowledge. Mankind has always needed to make things and events they didn't understand understandable, and sometimes made up explanations for things that have little to do with reality or aren't based on traceable, repeatable, or observable observations. For example, the explanation for something like a solar eclipse wasn't understood by primitive man. Primitive man connected natural human responses to solar eclipse and felt that they needed to appease an unknown deity in the sky mainly because of fear. Today, and mainly because of advancements made through scientific investigations, which involved a lot of trial and errors, humanity advanced above their ignorance, which provided reliable, repeatable observations for events that were at one time feared. However, the sad thing is that many people refuse to accept logical and provable scientific explanations for occurrences taking place around them. They choose to remain in their particular frame of thought that is laid out in their religious doctrines that regulate and oversee their belief system. Now, I feel that this adherence has become a highly blindsided way of thinking in especially democratic nations that allow freedom of religion. Overzealous influence by religious institutions and their representatives in many democratic nations has been shown to opinionate local and international politics and retarded a nation's educational system, therefore crippling scientific and technological advancements. And this is dangerous. People have the need to search or create explanations for the existence of things and events occurring in their environment, which cause many people, especially in religious institutions, to start from abject explanations of their ignorance to abject descriptions of what they feel is evident or simply because of what they rather believe. Unfortunately, even today, Conclusions related to our existence on this planet and which are considered evident in the natural sciences are blindly rejected by people who solely regard the religious doctrines of their belief system as the only source that explains their existence and which in almost all cases don't allow references and their doctrines to be compared or contrast. If those who express different thoughts and opinions find a platform Narratives will quickly be created to describe them as heretics or, in some cases, place those who have opposing views life in danger. And also, unfortunately, their expectations given to people within a population are provided by those who are very influential because of their cultural, social, or financial position. Ordinary people would be unable to obtain in their lifetime under normal circumstances. Many of these influential people are more concerned with spreading a belief or an ideology to build up or maintain or promote their personal brand. And the influence these charismatic individuals have keeps those who concur to their point of views or belief under their personal or even group control. 
In today's world of mass disinformation and conflicting opinions, personalities trying to promote honest social and political advancements or changes must thread carefully when expressing their thoughts and beliefs in ways that don't appear to consciously or directly attack any form of ideology rooted on a religion. Now, I won't be the first one to tell you that religion, without a doubt, gives people who need personal and spiritual support the energy to overcome unfortunate situations and occurrences they find themselves in. And this is true. We must maintain awareness or at the very least the sibilance of how specific belief systems cause disturbances in society simply because of the dogma that shapes their particular belief system. And at the same time, it is essential, regardless of our own personal beliefs, to respect the belief systems of others, regardless of their background, especially from nations others other than our own, as long as their particular belief system doesn't restrict the rights or endanger the lives of those who don't concur to their particular belief system negatively. Now, what concerns me the most is how religious beliefs in nations that were founded on principles of fair and equal treatment have allowed followers of particular religions to take over and in some cases rewrite or restructure their constitution to adhere to their particular religion. Now, when I look at the U.S. dollar, it says, in God we trust. And today I must stop and wonder which God is being referred to in a nation that is supposed to allow its citizens the freedoms to believe what they choose to believe as long as it doesn't infringe on the rights of other citizens. Next episode, I will explain, if left unchecked, how religious influence can become more of a hindrance than a plus to the development of a nation and why religious and political leaders should look for ways to coexist on principles of rationality. If you have found what we have to offer of any value, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons below to keep up to date with our current episodes. And if you're listening to our podcast, please subscribe and help us spread the word that we have a lot more in common than we think. We're very interested to hear what you have to say. Before us, season one family, I'm James Thompson, Taipei, Taiwan. And remember to stay strong, safe, and healthy wherever you are in the world.